We have a uh, walking on stilts, ball, gym class, security guard here. So there's that one. And then we have fishing, toothpaste, alarm clock, blind as a bat. Piggy bank, spaceship, Dracula, and giraffe. So that's what we're going with. So someone could be walking on stilts. Someone could be trying to step around something um, or avoid something. There's bald here. It could be an older person. Um, I'm getting like an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but um, I'm getting a gentleman vibe, like a masculine vibe. Somebody could be um, <clears throat> possibly getting in shape or wanting to get in shape. Someone is either feeling very guarded or protective with the security guard here. Um, it could be a masculine, older masculine. Um, they could be very guarded and protective. They may be hesitant, okay? So they may have a wall up. Um, it's like they're kind of avoiding an elephant in the room or something like that. Um, and then we have someone who could be getting ready, um, taking care of themselves. And it could, once again, it could still be this person. So, um, with toothpaste, they could be, um, you know, taking care of themselves, having good hygiene, trying to just, I'm getting like a distraction energy, like someone's trying to distract themselves. It's like they can't get something out of their head or they're stuck on a loop here. Um, but they're waking up to something. Um, it's like they're blind as a bat. So it's like something is right in front of their face or there's something that they're just like refusing to acknowledge, but they're waking up with the alarm clock. There's, there's an alarm bell or there's something that's ringing. There's an alarm bell that's going off and it's like a nagging feeling within someone. And it's like, they can't shake the feeling about something. Um, and it could have to do with finances. Um, maybe they feel like they don't have a lot of finances or they could be concerned about money. Someone's an, um, energy vampire, money vampire, time, money, energy. Something's taking up a lot of time with the Dracula, the vampire energy, and something is a reach. Something is a stretch. So someone may be wanting to make a move, um, towards somebody or they already might have, and some sort of alarm bells are going off. Like they're realizing something might not be worth it. Um, there's something, there's an alarm clock ringing, there's a bell going off here, and there's something that somebody might not have seen that someone is very draining, um, and, you know, it could be like a, a karmic that they're dealing with that they need to get rid of before they can go towards a divine, you know, their divine counterpart, um, but this has to do with some sort of feelings that they have towards somebody. And it's like, um, you know, that REO Speedwagon song, I can't fight this feeling anymore. Like that's kind of the energy I'm picking up. Somebody who may be struggling, like they're kind of fighting the obvious. <clears throat> it's like, maybe they just don't want to see it, but there's something that's like right in front of them and the alarm bells are ringing. But it's like, they're pretending not to see it <laughs> with as blind as a bat. It's like, they're pretending... You know, it's like there is an elephant in the room, but it's like they're pretending not to see it. It's like they're acting like they're in the dark, or someone is in the dark, and they're being awakened or enlightened to something. This could be some sort of knowledge. It could be also that someone is acting like they're in the dark when it comes to how, how they feel about someone. Someone could view another person as um, extremely attractive. There may be an age difference, there might not be, um, but someone's acting, It's they're avoiding. There's an avoidance. Don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Um, so a child could be involved. That's in the reverse. So that could be a barrier that's standing in the way. <clears throat> um, so a child may be significant here. It could be their child. It could be that you have a child. Someone feels like someone's making a mountain out of a molehill. So there could be... Um, someone's child could be kind of interfering here or they're making a big deal about something. This could be that this um, masculine energy may want to go towards somebody. They may find them attractive. They could be communicating with someone that they find attractive, okay? Um, but there's something that's being, that's dark. So maybe there's something taboo about the attraction to this person. So there may be an age difference and someone's child may um have a problem with this and they're making a big deal out of some sort of communication like it could appear innocent um but someone's red flag like someone's alarms going off and it could be the child who's questioning the parent about the um a relationship about like the um oh god how do i want to word this whether it's platonic or if it's romantic okay 
What's understood doesn't need to be explained. So there's something that's unexplained here. And it may be a mutual understanding about um, the uh, the stance or like the, um, oh God, I don't want to say this. <laughs> Oh, this is, this is a toughie. I, like, I know what I want to say. And I, I see it. It's just, um, <clears throat> okay, so there may be a relationship here, whether it's platonic or somebody, um, you know, there's romantic, um, someone is, there is an attraction here. There's an attraction somewhere here. Um, and there's something that like, doesn't need to be explained. So like, there's a child in this and it could be an adult child that would have a problem with this situation. Um, so things may be moving slowly. Um, or it's like being kept at a strictly platonic level because of a child. Um, so yeah, this, uh, this is an, <laughs> I'm just, someone's so uncomfortable. Like there's, there's like an uncomfortable energy. Like, uh, there, I feel like there's an adult child who could be really uncomfortable with this situation. They may have their doubts, they may have their reser reservations, they may feel like their parents being like taken advantage of or something. They could feel like someone may be just being a vampire and using their um, a parent for money. So like there could be a relationship here, but a child is having issues because they may feel like someone is being used possibly for money for as a piggy bank to be draining. Someone could be getting accused of being a gold digger um, in this situation here. <clears throat> short in the reverse uh, let me see if anything else comes out before i say anything else <laughs> there's something that's coming up short or that was short maybe some sort of communication was kept short or maybe that's the opposite since it's in the reverse it could be that there was some sort of lengthy communication or something that's being questioned possibly like even the length of a conversation like why did you speak to that person so long like what is your interest in this person um it's getting like state your intentions kind of energy like state your intentions before you date my parent kind of thing like i need to know what's going down so um you know someone's feeling protective and guarded possibly over a parental figure and you know uh, revenge sounds mean. I like returning the favor in the reverse. So someone could feel like, um, something is being done out of revenge or spite. So, you know, someone could be like, someone could be accused of like having a midlife crisis or something like that, or you're just doing this to spite me. Like there, this child, this, this adult child, um, feels like their parents doing something to spite them. <laughs> Or it could be that this adult person knows, okay, so I'm not going to get into that. I intend to live forever. So far, so good. So this came out sideways. The chains on my mood swing broke. That came out sideways. So this is now near future energy. The only thing to fear is fear itself. So there's somebody here who doesn't have a problem like with their age. Like I said, there could be an age difference. This could be someone older. Um, someone could be like getting their child could be accusing them of, I know what I want to say. Like, this is, um, this is a really weird reading. I don't know, but I'm going to go. All right. So this child is like, you're not going to live forever. This, this adult parent is like, well, I'm not going to live forever. I should do what makes me happy. And the mood swing broke like this, um, which is a snapping energy. So, uh, this adult child could snap off about the relationship um, and someone may be scared about that. So this adult person who has an adult child may be scared about the reaction that their child's going to have, um, their adult child, because I'm not getting a young child. This is an adult child. So we're talking like, you know, um, and I did say something about there possibly being an age difference. So this could be a situation where someone may be dating someone that's closer to like their child's age or on the younger spectrum. I'm just saying, um, yeah. I said yes, which turned out to be right answer in the reverse. Someone's telling their parent they should have said no, they're doing something out of spite. Uh, oh man. 
Mm, I really don't want to go there. I really don't want to go there. This, it's come out before, and, um, you know, where there's, like, um, a family situation, some, like, a family member, um, could be involved in this. So there's a relative, possibly, who may feel like someone is doing something to spite them. Like, you know I was with that person. Why would you do this? You should have said no. You shouldn't be talking to this person. Your conversations are getting too long. There's something that doesn't look right about this. Like, that's the energy that I'm getting here. Like, someone really has a problem. <clears throat> and it's, it's like their children or child that has a problem with this. Health issues could arise in the reverse. So someone could have been concerned about their health or someone may feel like someone's too old or too frail or too fragile to be involved in a situation like this. To go on a date, um, get ready to be wined and dined. So someone may have canceled a date or, um, you know, changed their plans up. They may have said that they were feeling ill or something like that. So someone may have canceled something or canceled a date because they were in bad health, but it could also be that they were pretending to be in bad health and they canceled the, the date because they may be having reservations about how they want to proceed or move forward in this situation. And it could also be that someone's not in bad health, that someone does not have issues, um, so they feel like maybe there's no reason why they shouldn't go on a date with somebody. But I kind of feel like someone may have gotten canceled on or someone bailed. Let go. Make room for the new beginning that's on its way now. So somebody somebody could have decided to back out of this, okay? So if there was an older person who was concerned about how their child felt about something and they were afraid of, like, a mood swing, and it doesn't have to be a child. It could be a family member, but I'm strong. Like, the child, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Like, I'm strongly getting, like, it could be a child. Someone is in the middle of something, someone trying to sabotage this. Someone's in the middle, someone's trying to sabotage this in the reverse. <clears throat> so somebody could have been in the middle of something. Patience, just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. So somebody, and this could be history, like this could be past energy. Caution, find out more information, don't overwork yourself, and gold digger. So someone may feel like someone is just being a gold digger. So that's why they were pressuring this person to cancel something. Like someone was planting seeds of doubt in this person's mind. And this, you know, it's like this person may have been really excited about something. They may have done something impatiently, hooked up with someone, started communicating. There's like a really good vibe going on. And then you have this other person who's putting it in their head that someone's just a gold digger. Someone is just using you for your money. And so, you know, someone may have canceled a date or something or said, you know, hey, I'm feeling a little under the weather. Weather could be significant. Um, but they really ended up, like, not going through with this or canceling or bailing. Maybe on the whole relationship. Like, someone, someone's been putting it in their head that someone's just a gold digger and someone has it in their mind that someone is just using another person for money. And it could be, like, a relative or someone that's putting this in their head or someone close to them. So, you know, somebody was not listening to their instincts. Someone can be trusted and something is about to be revealed. So somebody wasn't listening to their instincts. Possibly when they accuse someone of being a gold digger, someone actually can be trusted and somebody may be revealing the fact that they ultimately do trust this person. So they may have made this like excuse just to kind of buy some time and think about something it's like i said someone's stuck on a loop they're thinking about something over and over and over again and they're replaying something in their head but they can't shake the feeling of something and they're really attracted to this person they think they're hot <laughs> like they're there's a strong like attraction sexual attraction chemistry um so yeah We have someone who may not be an official person. 
So it may be someone who's like, oh, I have a bad feeling about this, or somebody who acts like they're in a position where they can judge or give advice, you know, with a higher fent, like they would normally be seen as an official person. So someone may have thought that they were getting good advice, but they're in the reverse. So they could have been getting advice from, you know, a false teacher, advisor, or something like that. Someone could have gotten some bad advice. <clears throat> And that's because whoever they were listening to, they were not guided by their instincts. They were just giving their opinion, not facts, not energy. Um, you know, they weren't reading the room or the situation correctly. Something was misinterpreted or misunderstood. Someone just doesn't want someone to be seen as an official person. So there's someone here who is disloyal. So someone feels betrayed. Or there is a betrayal here. Okay, so with Toto here, this is someone that someone feels like they could trust or that they would be loyal to, and there's an act of betrayal here. And then we have a high priestess here, and then we have disloyal. So somebody was disloyal, um, or they felt like they were being disloyal. There's an illusion here regarding a barrier, and somebody didn't want to see through the illusion. Or somebody didn't see through an illusion that somebody was being disloyal or betraying another person. So like I said, somebody could have been getting some advice and they could have been, um, you know, they didn't see through the illusion and they were actually betrayed by this person. We do have a high priest, high priestess energy here. So somebody could have been interested in like a legit high priestess or high priest and there's a barrier that's standing in the way. And it, the barrier, okay, based on the readings here, there is something that's an illusion. Someone may feel like something's an illusion. Um, and that has to do with like an empress. Um, so somebody may be in a relationship I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but somebody could already be in a relationship, okay? So that could be where the betrayal comes in. Um, so they may have received advice, you know, from someone that they thought they could trust, like, yeah, go for it, um, you know, take your chances. Like, somebody could have been being coached into a situation in which they would have to betray someone that they were in a relationship with, so I'm seeing that as well. I mean, it could go either way, um, but someone was pissed. Someone was pissed because they didn't see through the illusion here that something was a betrayal or an act of betrayal. And once again, that could be somebody um, telling someone to run, run away from somebody when in fact someone really could be trusted. And they may be revealing that they have feelings for this person. Yeah, there's something that someone's pissed off about, and it involves an empress. There's like a witchy, pissed off, angry energy. Like, angry, anger, pissed off. Someone feels like possibly even this empress is doing something out of spite. If this feminine knows this masculine energy I'm picking up on, and their adult child, someone feels like they could be doing something just to spite them. But there's a barrier that someone was trying to place in someone's path because they were pissed off. But there's a positive outcome for this empress, for this feminine energy. So, um, I mean, I don't just mean a positive outcome, but the Wheel of Fortune is on their side. Like, luck is on their side when it comes to this situation. So, you know, they may be proceeding with caution. They may know what they would be getting accused of. You know, they could have spiritual gifts, obviously, if they're a high priestess here. So they're kind of tapped in. They can read the energy even before someone says something. So they can feel the exchange. They're not ignorant here when it comes to this exchange. They know what's going on. It doesn't mean it makes the situation... I mean, it's, it's like... A, it's This is like a really heavy... It's, it is kind of a heavy energy here. Because someone may be getting accused of something that they really didn't do. Someone, like, someone's home splitting, someone's nervous about um, a home separating or, like, possibly a divorce or someone not being their Ten of Cups. Like, if, um, I'm getting, like, with the Ten of Cups in the reverse energy, and that's kind of what I get from, like, the rainbow bear here. Um, 
someone could have been nervous about a family situation and a split up or divorce. Someone could have been scared that a divorce was going to happen because of a betrayal. So, like I said, it is possible that somebody was married in this situation because we do have an emperor in the reverse. And someone is being a flying monkey. So someone is just trying to cause some drama because they, they're like, no, this can't be happening. Somebody didn't want to go through an ascension. Somebody didn't want to change. Somebody didn't want to grow. Somebody didn't want to accept things on a higher vibration. And they did not have a positive outcome because somebody really is, um, you know, they're seeing stars. Like, they are attracted to this person. They're having all these loving feelings for this person that they want to go towards. And somebody celebrated when they thought they took someone off of this path by telling them some crazy shit. It's like this this person may have expressed to this family member or child, whatever, relative, friend, that they wanted to go towards somebody. And so someone's like, no, you don't want to do that. This person's this, that, and the other. Like, they tried to sabotage this like crazy. Like, this person's a gold digger. They're just using you. But come to find out, this person still has lovey feelings towards somebody. And something really shocking is about to go down. And there are some people who may not like it. But I feel like this person may be moving forward with possibly a love offer here. Let's check it out and find out. That's F-A-F-O. Oh. Let's see. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse here. I want to get a couple more cards. Somebody could have said maybe that um, this person was lazy, that they didn't want to work. Like I said, that gold digger energy, but somebody could be um, receiving a message that someone's in their life's calling. Someone's working on building a legacy, so someone's kind of working on their own shit. They're not a gold digger. Someone could be receiving a message that somebody wants to build with them, build a legacy with them, build a future with them. Someone definitely tried to throw things out of balance with the temperance energy. So, um, so something could have been out of balance regarding someone's work. Maybe somebody wasn't working. Maybe someone had lost a job, something like that. That could have been another reason why somebody was being accused of being a gold digger. But we have this emperor here that wants to bring financial balance. So, you know, daddy don't play. You know what I'm saying? Like father figure, husband, lover, whoever this is. Um, they want to help bring financial balance back to a situation and it's not because someone's using them for money. It's just maybe they need help with something or, you know, they had a temporary setback, but I feel like they're not asking for money. I feel like they're not trying to be with someone for money. Someone is called judgment because somebody was trying to create an imbalance so someone wouldn't go towards someone for, with an offer. Like I said, somebody was just making all kinds of accusations about this person so that someone would not go towards them and make them an offer. But the shocking thing is, is this person's still going to make them an offer at some point. King of Swords is going to speak up. And he's going to speak the truth. He's thinking logically about this. Like, he's not caught up in his emotions. He's very, he's very, like... He's not mixing his words. He's He means what he says, and when he, he moves forward, um, you know, he, he's not messing around. Someone's pissed that they couldn't create this illusion. So, you know, this person that was creating an imbalance here, trying to get this person to stay away from the person they want to go towards, they're going to be extremely pissed off because the illusions didn't work. And like I said, this person's still, this King of Swords is still going for it. And someone's not happy about it. This person knows that they're not being taken advantage of. Somebody was just creating an illusion to hurt someone and cause someone pain and suffering and keep them stuck. But there's still a positive outcome that's going to come from this. And that's the challenge. It doesn't matter who's throwing a pissy fit, who feels like someone pissed in their Cheerios. It doesn't fucking matter what this person says or does. 
Someone rushed in with some lies, some bullshit. They made a decision to lie to someone to stop them from rushing towards someone and speak the truth. It's like they didn't want this person to know the truth about how awesome this person was just because they didn't like this. Like, they didn't like this relationship, they didn't like the situation, so someone rushed in with some lies and some bullshit to C-block someone. And it could have been, like, a, you know, their own parent. This There's a Queen of Swords here, and not a positive outcome. So, I mean, like I said, this person could have been married. So, you know, this could be a child who maybe didn't want to see their parents get split up or get divorced. Um, or this could be a lion-ass daughter feminine energy, and they're not going to have a positive outcome because they were being cold-hearted. So this could have been like a daughter who was interfering like with her father's relationship or something, but there's still going to be a message. There's still going to be a message of communication, and someone's going to be pissed to find this out, that someone is choosing to communicate with somebody, and they didn't stop shit. <clears throat> with an empress okay there's going to be a message for this empress and someone may have been trying to keep something a secret and they could have been working with someone secretly to stop this union from coming into fruition uh, but you know something was being kept secret regarding this empress and it could even be the king of swords who was trying to keep this empress a secret because they didn't want to cause a shit storm with everything that's going on like because they know that people are going to disagree or disapprove. There's definitely a secret that's being kept between an emperor and empress or about an emperor and empress. It's like someone was trying to keep, you know, their shit private and there's nothing wrong with that, you know? People don't need to be in people's business. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but... Okay, so someone could be, you know, in poverty and someone could be fairly well off with the King of Pentacles. So that there's, you know, problems there, or at least somebody feels like there's a problem. But this, this person's working on it. Like, this is Queen, she's in her Queen of Pentacles energy just because, um, just because someone's in poverty, they're working on building a legacy. They're, you know, they're in their life's calling. So this is like King Queen of Pentacles energy. So I mean they'll be okay. Like let them do what they're gonna do. They're adults. Whatever. There's definitely an emotional situation. Someone feels like they're being left out in the cold here with the hermit. Someone could be alone in isolation, dealing with an emotional situation, possibly all by themselves here. And we have a King of Wands and a King of Cups here in the reverse. So a King of Wands. So, you know, for some of you, um, you could have been in a relationship with the King of Wands, and this could be their father figure. I'm not going to lie, this is some crazy shit. Um, but something didn't work out with the King of Wands, but there's this King of Cups. There's someone who wants to come and give you their emotions. And then once again, the King of Swords. Someone's not rushing into something. It's like they're, they've taken time to think this through. This King of Swords is going to come and speak some sort of truth. There's someone here that could be spending a lot of time in isolation. It could be the King of Swords. Or it could be the feminine, the feminine energy, the Empress energy that I'm picking up on. Because there was illusions. There is an illusion that has been created and surrounding. Possibly why someone's alone in isolation. Why someone spends so much time alone. Um, they could have been lied to, like, this person's just lazy, they don't want to work. They could have also experienced some hella trauma, and they needed to heal from it. There was an emperor here, so there's a masculine, so it could be multiple children. It could be, like, a father who has children that are, you know, adult children. It could be a man and a woman. You could have dated this kid, you know, you could have been in a relationship with this dude's kid, you know? I don't know. But there's a transformation coming here, death and rebirth. The seeds that someone planted, you know, the illusion that someone created about someone not being able to make money or be fruitful, it's a lie. You know, somebody said that someone just was a gold digger, they didn't want to work, they have no ability to make money, and someone could be doing okay. Even if someone's in poverty, like, they're still able to handle themselves. 
this Queen of Pentacles, if they were talking shit about this Queen of Pentacles, she's still doing well for herself, or at least okay. Like, she's still surviving. But someone lied about why they were alone, um, you know, why they didn't have money or something like that. fortune is on someone's side there is going to be a group or family that's going to come together so there is you know there's a group of people here and it could be a community too you know but the wheel of fortune you know community support or the support of a group of people here so someone is going to get some sort of support <clears throat> and i don't mean child support <laughs> could be moral support you know and there's some there's some communication here regarding some sort of community support and getting like outreach. Um, somebody may have ties within the community. Um, someone placed themselves under judgment, so judgment was called on somebody. There's an obsession or an addiction with the star. Okay. Um, so this person, this King of Swords, is like addicted to the star energy okay this divine person this feminine energy but there's someone here who's not held in high honor who's under judgment this king of cups in reverse someone who made a decision based on emotions somebody who didn't want this union to happen they brought themselves under judgment here because um there's a king of wands here who wants a happiness wants happiness ten of cups this could be a player energy okay so you know, back to, back to, man, someone could have been married, okay? The King of Wands, they, they could have been married at the time that they came across this Empress. I'm not saying it's a good or bad thing, I just read the cards, okay? So like I said, someone could have been upset about, like, their parents being split up or a divorce that was happening. Um, whether the process had already been started, whether they were living together, you know, um... It could be a thing. But somebody is addicted to this star. And they want to have a family. They want to have a ten of cups with this star. And they're going to take the action. And it's going to be shocking. And it may be shocking to a lot of people. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Something was laid to rest because somebody was just placing burdens, you know, placing their burdens on somebody and they were not compassionate. They were intentionally causing an imbalance. They wanted to keep someone bound and stuck so that they would not receive an offer. And there's an Empress energy here who may have lost a home and there were secrets. There may have been secrets regarding a feminine energy and the loss of a home because of a secret. So there may have been a separation Oh, yes, someone's getting divorced, man. Someone was married. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It is, it's plain as day. Okay, someone was, was not compassionate. They didn't offer someone flowers. Something got laid to rest with someone that they were supposed to be close to. Um, You know, they wanted to be set free, so they traveled towards someone else, made them an offer. They tried to keep it a secret. Secrets getting exposed. There's an empress that's either going to lose a house, move out of a house, or there's something regarding a house and an empress in the reverse. But it may not be like a bad empress. It could just be the fact that this is like past their energy, you know, past, present, or future, whichever you are, however you are on this timeline. But there's barriers regarding this offer. That's possibly because somebody may have lied here about leaving someone out in the cold. Or they lied to the person that got left out in the cold. Like I said, if they were married. So, like, they, they're they going to come to you as, like, the King of Swords. Like, but the King of Swords left someone else out in the cold. And they want to come towards this Two of Cups. So, I mean, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, man. I don't... So there could have been a third party situation here. I mean, I don't, and I don't mean to sound nonchalant about it because I don't know the situation. I just know the energy 
and you know this is a partnership that's going to happen for someone here and it's it's not going to make some people very happy friends family you know whatever there's going to be some people pissed off about the situation and especially if this person was married so yeah someone got left out in the cold there's an empress here you know that got left out in the cold there's a feminine so there is a masculine shit yeah challenge there's a ten of swords there's a permanent ending coming and the ace of wands in the reverse so you know this masculine may you know have taken their wand and dipped it in someone else's pond and that caused a ten of swords here someone's spying regarding some sort of communication so someone's going to get caught communicating with someone possibly with the third party here there could be an altercation that's brewing i'm not gonna lie because someone's spying here someone's being sneaky and stealthy regarding some sort of communication so even if they're not trying to steal something they're being sneaky they're trying to get away with something and it has to do with who they were communicating with <clears throat> king of cups here who made uh, that was communicating something that made some sort of communication and it was painful for somebody some sort of communication was painful but there's still a positive outcome for somebody here who's in the upright so for the empress here So somebody was at a crossroads, someone had a decision to make, a king or queen of cups, so this, once again, there's a decision to make, and there was some sort of communication, someone in this married couple was communicating with someone and they're being sneaky and stealthy. Someone may have lost a treasure here, because they were not compassionate, they were not empathetic, you know, um, with the page of cups here. So someone, you know, in this situation may have lost a treasure. They could have went towards somebody with a slippery offer as well with this, you know, towards a third party. Maybe because they viewed them as a treasure. Um, and, you know, a treasure is something that you hold dear or that you would view as something, you know, that's important to you. And um, someone in this situation didn't value their partner or whoever they were married to. And so they could have been communicating with somebody else. Someone's being stealthy and sneaky. That's the only goddamn upright card there is. All I know, someone's being stealthy about some shit. And there's a married couple here and it keeps coming out over and over again. There's a married couple, married couple. <sighs> And once again, there's a permanent ending coming for something. Um, so someone's going to end something permanently so they can go hook up with the star. I mean, someone is addicted to this person. This And it's like the King of Swords. This masculine energy, um, you know, the King of Cups in the reverse, um, who was married, whatever. This person is addicted to this divine being. It's like a moth to the flame. And I hate to say like a lamb to the slaughter because I don't want it to sound morbid, but... I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't want to say that this empress is going to be the one to slaughter them, but, like, it may be their own family that, like, gets a lynch mob together. I mean, I don't know. Like, there's good and bad energy coming through, so, you know, do with the information what you will. I just read the cards. Taking credit for someone else's work, stealing someone else's work in the reverse. So somebody feels like some somebody was stolen something was stolen from them. So somebody feels like something was stolen from them. Someone's guilty. Someone was confused because somebody was not telling the truth. 
they feel like someone lost their damn mind. Something happened in the last three to six months. Someone got ghosted. I can't see you. A marriage contract and a betrayal. I'm telling you. Someone fell for the trap for a betrayal. Someone got caught up in a trap. Like, or they feel like, or I don't know if they feel like they were trapped, but, um, there was a betrayal here. There's, there's an infidelity here regarding a marriage. And they were lied to. So someone feels like they fell for the trap because they were lied to. They lied about you or lied about someone. So someone was definitely lying. Someone, somebody intentionally caused an injustice. Someone needs to walk away and run away now. The person that's intentionally causing an injustice, um, you know, that's lying about something, relax it, it'll be over soon, I don't know. Find someone to love you, I don't, so, um, and then when I split the deck, these are both actually in the reverse, so something is not going to be over soon, because someone is going to get told that they're not in love with someone that they want to divorce, there's going to be a divorce, man. And it could be even two married couples that are getting divorced. So, I mean, let's just speak the truth here. <clears throat> Someone wants to be left alone. Someone's spell work backfired. There's an authentic teacher or prophet here that's significant, and the truth will shock you. Someone has chosen to focus on themselves. Someone wants to be left alone. <clears throat> Someone, someone's spell work backfired. So, you know, um, if somebody was intentionally trying to cause some harm, like if this is an empress in the reverse that got upset because their husband doesn't want to be with them anymore, they could have been doing spell work on an you know, on a, a authentic preach, teacher, prophet. Um, I don't know, this person just wants to focus on themselves. Someone's getting told that they want to be left alone, though. So someone could have been doing some spell work to try to keep someone in a marriage. Someone was falsely arrested. So I'm, I'm getting like these are two married couples. They're being two-faced, and someone's depressed. because someone And someone's feeling, like, frisky and horny here, and they're secretly watching. So, you know, this masculine who was talking shit about this empress, they could have been married as well, and they were both, like, talking, you know, like, they could have been talking shit to this, um, you know, the king of cups could have been talking shit to the king of swords so that this person wouldn't go towards this empress, because they were both married, and it's kind of like, who's going to get there first? Like, capture the flag kind of shit. But they they both have ties, okay? Um, Jesus. What the fuck, man? How many red flags can you spot at this carnival? <laughs> I'm not I'm just saying. Ah, this ain't six flags, yo. This ain't six flags. There's red flags all over this shit. Oh, someone's a dime a dozen. Something is a dime a dozen. Something is just like so common. Don't burn your bridge money to burn and lay down the law so someone who may be like you know just a regular everyday person someone who's not like a divine femme or like an empress or a high priestess they need to be careful about burning their bridges um because the law or you know um there could be some legal repercussions regarding some sort of money so someone may take some sort of action and act out and maybe possibly try to destroy some property or have somebody arrested. They're, they could possibly be getting the law involved here, making a false report, some shit like that, to teach someone a lesson. This is, uh, man, this is, I knew this read was going to be fucked up. I knew it was. Somebody do you... Somebody either did jump into something with both feet, with the decision that they made, or somebody didn't jump into something here. Um, somebody was non-committed. So, somebody may have had, like, one foot out the door kind of thing. 
there is a positive outcome for someone here and there is going to be an equal give and take so like i said i don't mean to be the bearer of bad news and there's red flags all over this shit however there's two married couples involved in this situation and there is going to be a union here and there is going to be an equal give and take and this could be a divine partnership um don't don't shoot the messenger please like uh don't get mad at me i please <laughs> Please, 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 don't be yelling at me in the comments. It's not my fault. <laughs> I typed in... Ay, 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 ay. Someone's going forward here. Someone is, you know, like an opposites attract thing. Like, um... Someone may have been opposite. Someone could have been married to someone who they thought was their opposite. They may, you know, somebody doesn't want to be married to their opposite anymore. A Sagittarius. So a Sagittarius could be significant here. Someone could have gotten arrested in November or, you know, arrest in November could be significant. It could have been a challenge for somebody. You could be opposite from who they're with, you know, or who they were involved with. Maybe, you know, I don't know. I feel like someone's going to get, like, caught with some sort of communication. I don't know. There's something significant about the winter time, so November. So there was a third party here. Opposites attract, yeah. The winter is significant. I told you this was going to be a tough one. I knew this was going to be a fucked up read. I knew it. So there's something significant about a third party on a Tuesday. Opposites attract. So possibly with a Sagittarius here. Something could be moving forward in the winter time. Someone is as pure as driven snow here. So there is someone who is actually like... Whether you want to believe it or not, someone is a good person in all this. I know that's hard to believe. Um, and this came out sideways. I know it's hard to believe with all this shit going on. But someone actually is as pure as driven snow. Someone actually is, like, innocent. Like, someone isn't trying to, like, cause problems. Someone do is going to get there happily ever after here. At the end of the day, someone is seeing the light. They see the writing on the wall. That someone was just a fair weather friend. But, and this is regarding a younger person, and June could be significant, okay? So, somebody really didn't want the, this older gentleman to get with this person, possibly just because of an age difference. You know, I, I don't believe that the younger person here is the fair weather friend. Someone is seeing the writing on the wall regarding a fair weather friend. And there's something significant about June and this person who's younger. And something is going to be... Something's going to be coming together. And someone here is innocent in all this. Someone is. Believe it or not. <laughs> Thick as thieves keeps coming out though. So somebody could have been working with somebody else. Could have been, you know, a sibling. Something like that. Someone was not a good and kind soul here. And someone could have been under the influence of something. Three sheets to the wind in April could be significant. Oh, yeah, man, oh, man, oh, man. This is like King or Queen of Wands energy in the reverse. And then a Gemini and Aquarius. They're barking up the wrong tree, man. They're not going to stop this from happening. If this is a Gemini and Aquarius that's, you know, C blocking someone and they're as thick as thieves, they're going to end up disappointed. Someone did judge a book by its cover, and someone's going to spill the beans. Like, the, something is going to be revealed about this shit. It's going down. Meet me in the club. It's going down. I don't know, man. I don't know. Please don't get mad. I don't know. Let's close this. I'm done. I'm so done. Oh, could be significant. Person, place, or a thing. I'm just hearing, I don't want to do this anymore, I can't do this anymore, like, somebody doesn't want to do, you know, whatever, I, you, I owe you, someone's like, I owe you, someone may feel like they owe another person, like, somebody could be helping someone out, 
L. Louis. Someone's name could be Louis as well here. Lou or Louis. And then we have A. So Luis or El Luisa or Louisiana could be significant. Elisa. El Luisa. I don't know. I'm horrible with some of these names. S. Aloisa? I feel like it starts with an A though, and not an E. Alu. G. I just heard someone could win the SAG award. I don't. I don't know. God damn it! Like I don't. I'm not. Mm -mm. L. Maybe they're sagging their pants. I don't know. I don't want to think about anything else sagging. Saggy Balls Award. I don't know. I. Someone's definitely being watched. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay. Someone really likes you. I mean, some. it's like obsessed. Like, I, I don't feel like it's in a bad. Well, it could be. I mean, it's like, it could be lustful energy. I don't know. But someone is like addicted to someone. It's like someone views another person as an addiction. All right. Last two here. E, someone definitely likey, and Y, L I K E Y, someone likey, L O U I A, and S G. I hope this helps. Have a good day.